Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope y'all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, limited rewards video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Gilly robot armor and some additional information that you may have not known. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. All right. So as I've mentioned, today we're looking at the Gilly paint for the robot armor which you can unlock by playing the legendary run season 1 Fallout 76 and you unlock it as soon as you reach rank 42 so it as soon as you've uh, hit rank 42 you can claim it and it will end up in your um, skins section and if you navigate all the way down to your armor section that's where you'll see your uh, robot ghillie uh, armor paint <laughs> All right, so uh, that says that, and uh, the other thing is just to show you quick on the legendary run. Oh, okay, yeah. After double XP, I've been grinding a lot, as you can see. And okay, this 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 thing is uh, is laggy. So as I said, rank 42, you got it, you use it, you love it. <laughs> so it works pretty much with all robot armor pieces. So if you go to your uh, armor workbench. And for instance, uh, light armor, you can make a light robot and you can uh, ghillie it. Same goes for heavy uh, robot arms and, and legs and so on and so forth. And you can make it. Uh, does it does it have a, this one robot? And this robot as well. So anything robotic, you can do it. Oh, wow. I only got three pieces. Damn it. <laughs> the other thing is what you may have not known. It works with the helmets as well. The assault from helmet the eye boy helmet and sentry bot should work I'm not sure because I was not able to find that stupid assault on cir circuit board not lucky me uh, also this uh, I didn't figure out on my own uh, Z clan thank you for pointing that out on discord last week now that the double XP has ended I have a lot of reviews to do so this is how the armor is looking like oh by the way by the way a quick uh, thing here in terms of helmets they all look the same so for instance if I am to wear uh, the where is it here uh, the ghillie assaultron helmet bam as you've noticed nothing changed so if I'm gonna put it on something else right now real quick let me do it like like that and I bought boom as you can see nothing changed so I believe the helmets will always look the same no matter which type of a helmet you're using which kind of sucks to be honest I mean if we take a look at the uh, armor workbench and the helmet section again right I mean this looks nice this looks whatever but it would probably be bulky or something I don't know it, and you know it's a different helmets so the ghillie should work differently for all three types of helmets you know what I mean by the way the other thing is uh, when I reviewed the metal helmet I did forget uh, I didn't know I uh, didn't forget I didn't know that you could have uh, also made the metal helmet uh, ghillie as well so let me just show you as an example how you do it so once you've cracked it, crafted all you need right you just navigate to uh, whatever you want to make uh, ghillie like for example the metal helmet Bam, and you can use the ghillie. Now, this this has been pointed out to me by Fearless Tito. <laughs> Thank you, Fearless. So that is that, as you can see. All right, so and some sun is coming. What up? Perfect timing. I thought this that this never gonna happen. Although it's already 5 p.m. Thank you very much. But okay, I mean, this is the one big feature game. But anyway. So, let's go and review it from all sides. By the way, I do have my ghillie backpack on right now. Uh, and I'm wearing the heavy robot armor, which looks sick. And I want to I wanna get it. Look at it. Uh, the ghillie thing, it's not that super ghillie. As you can see, there's still a lot of robot parts are sticking out. But once again... Uh, this is uh, cool for a couple of reasons, by the way. Uh, and I'll get into it a little bit, uh, just in a little bit. So let me remove that backpack as well so you can see how it looks without the backpack. Where's the backpack? There we go. Boom. So that's no backpack. 
Let's take a look at it once again from all sides. I mean, it's good to have, don't you think? And I believe we don't have anything else for the robot armor in terms of paint. So this is the first time the robot uh, armor got some paint. Now, what I will be using this paint for is for the following thing. I'm going to paint all of the, uh, like, uh, armor pieces that I don't want to script by mistake. That's what I'm going to use it for, so that's my aim to get all of these things, uh, like, that's why I need them. So, for instance... If I were to this unyielding piece, although I'm gonna script it because it's level 40, but it's a it's a good one. Although uh, it's not signed till, but okay. Uh, but for instance, if I would like be scripting, and you know, with all these lags going on right now, you can accidentally script something you don't want. So if you gilly it, right, it becomes atomic, and when you go to the scripting machine, it's not there, so it's not in the list. But the other problem is with this uh, gilly, right? For example, if you have it, right, and you by mistake drop it like this, it will get destroyed. <laughs> so there we go. And it gets destroyed. Boom. All of it is destroyed. As you can see, it's not being dropped. That sucks, don't it? Uh, but yeah, I still prefer to have it... Uh, like skinned because I'm very very careful when I'm dropping things on the ground so that pretty much doesn't apply to me uh, and I always destroy things that I don't like so boom 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 Z clan I think I have nothing else to uh, cover here but you all know the drill if you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit that like for the video. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can react to them. So if you want replies to your comments, please do do not drop any. Don't swear in your comments. Even if you have a negative feedback, you can always provide your negative feedback without swearing the living hell out of it. Right? <laughs> and if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 5,571 Z Clan members. We're growing pretty fast. What's up? If you want to join our community on Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. I highly recommend reading the rules, otherwise you will get banned. And the unbanning process is a very lengthy one. To be honest, I don't like unbanning. So so far, only one person got unbanned, and it took him a couple of months. So, just read the rules. In short, family friendly stuff. None of that toxic stuff, none of that swearing stuff, and none of that garbage stuff. Z Clan is a community where we love to have fun, play different games. Which comes once you join Discord, go to the Get Started section, select the Z sign that you accept the uh, rules, so you'll get access to the general chats, such as where we can talk about anything and food wars. Uh, then select the platform you play on, so it'll be easier for you to team up with any uh, other Z Clan member to play with you. And select the game that you play, so you get access to the chats of that specific game. So if you're playing 76, click 76, you get access to all 76 chats. Playing Warzone, click Warzone, you get access to Warzone chats. If you stop playing the game, for example, Warzone or follow 76 you unmark and you lose the chance so I made it super simple so once again thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video found it beneficial you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys like it at and I'll see you in the next video Bye. from the ashes we rose into the future we'll go we are Z clan we have a gamer soul